LG for the end is getting its first ever rerun with the staff of Homer Banner in the upcoming patches. Seven months ago, however, I made this video about how it's not very good on Fenty. Ever since then, things have changed. Especially with two major changes made to LG for the end, it is now actually a really good weapon on Venti, as well as other character, which we're going to be covering in the later half of the video. In the current patch, there is five characters who can decently utilize LG for the end. Starting off with Venti, the character that the bow was designed for, Kujo Sara, when paired with Raiden together, can use LG for the end as a buffer for the entire team. Ember, when paired together with Hu Tao, can use LG for the end to provide pyro, elemental mastery, attack bonus for Hu Tao. Ganyu, when played as a crowd support in either Freeze Child team with Child or with Hu Tao as a crowd support, can also use LG for the end to provide buff to the corresponding characters. And finally, LG for the end can be used on Diona as well, where she can provide buff to her party when using her elemental burst. However, this is much less recommended because Diona elemental bursts take very very slowly. Starting off with Venti, when LG for the end first came out, there was a huge problem with the weapon and Venti, and that was the bow would practically do nothing for Venti himself. While it is nice to give a 20% attack boost to the rest of your party, as well as some elemental mastery, this bow was a complete dead statistic for Venti. This is because Venti did not really need that much energy recharge, as he already have energy recharge on his ascension. This means that if you have some kind of energy recharge on your substat, you will most likely not need that much energy recharge at all, so the substat on the LG for the end is wasted. Furthermore, Venti cannot get any of the bonus in the passive as well. This is because Venti elemental burst snapshot. That means by the time you fire the elemental burst, your damage is locked in and subsequent buff will not affect the damage at any how. So because you have to use Venti elemental burst to proc the buff, Venti elemental burst will never get the buff himself. So you will never benefit from the passive of the LG for the end. This means that for Venti, both component for the bow just didn't work at all. However, since then, two major changes were made to the game that affected LG for the end. First of all, Elemental Mastery no longer snapshot. That means that for Venti holding a LG for the end, he can finally utilize the Elemental Mastery component in the passive. Know that he will still not receive the attack percent buff because of previous described issues. However, the second major changes is the Elemental Mastery buff in the 1.6 patch. In the 1.6 patch, Elemental Mastery got a major buff for the transformative reaction, especially to Swirl type reaction, which Venti does. After the patch, instead of building the traditional crit, animal damage, and attack percent on your Venti, going full Elemental Mastery on your Venti is actually going to be more beneficial for your overall damage. And thus, because of that, the Elemental Mastery component from LG for the end actually shrined compared to other options and therefore became one of his best weapons. Nowadays, when going for the full Elemental Mastery build on Venti, the LG for the end have a 2% damage difference with a Refine 5 Stringless. However, with the extra benefit of granting your entire party a 20% attack boost, a full Elemental Mastery attack boost, as well as granting himself 50 energy recharge, which make recharging his Elemental Burst very very easy. Overall, it is easy to say that LG for the end is the best weapon for Venti nowadays. Otherwise, as mentioned before, you can use LG for the end on Kuzosara in a Hyper Raiden comp. However, you might have to get a little lucky as you will have to hit at least 3 times on your elemental burst in order to proc the LG for the end passive. Know that it is at least 3 times because of Constellation 2. Constellation 2 will leave behind a Crow Feather and doing damage and thus this will contribute to another stack for your LG for the end. If you do not have Constellation 2, you will have to hit all 4 times on your Elemental Burst, which might be very very difficult and very luck dependent. Otherwise, Kujo Sara can use LG for the end decently well, because it does have a very high base attack as it's a 5 star weapon, at least compared to the 4 star weapon, and Kujo Sara would really appreciate the high base attack that LG can give, simply because her Elemental Skill transfer attack based on her base attack, and so you will be able to transfer more attack However, very important to note is that it is very common to run both Kazuo and Kuzo Sara together. 
and if you have a freedom sword on your Kazuya, the buff between LG for the end and freedom sword will not stack. You only get one of the two buff. Because of this, it's much more recommended to put the freedom sword on Kazuya and just put another weapon on Kuzo Sara. And so, if you are a freedom sword owner and a Kazuya owner in your Raiden hyper carry team, be careful of this. Diona work very similarly to Guizou Sara, so we're gonna talk about Diona next. The way you proc LG for the end is that you have to use both your elemental skill and elemental burst. Your elemental skill will fire 5 paw, however it will only count at 1 stack in most cases, simply because they hit too quickly. I say most cases because it is possible to hit a very delayed paw and get 2 stacks on your elemental skills. However, the remaining stack will have to come from elemental burst which have a 2 second delay between each tick. That means that if you only got 1 stack off your elemental skills, you'll need 1 stack on the initial skill damage or initial burst damage, and then 2 more stacks, which is 4 seconds later. So it take you about 5 to 6 seconds before you can get the buff in, and does it just take too long? However, it's still a much better weapon in comparison to most other weapons, as it is the only weapon that gives you a damage percent boost for your other party member. So if you don't need anything else on your DNF, potentially you don't really care about energy generation with the Sacrificial Bow or Phoneus Bow, then a LG for the end to buff your entire party is going to be a great choice. In the high level of Hu Tao gameplay, Ember is often paired with Kazuya for Hu Tao to proc LG for the end and provide power infusion of her elemental burst. Ember elemental burst prior a lot of different arrow and each of them count as a different entity. Because of that, Ember elemental burst is currently the fastest way to proc LG for the end, procing it basically almost instantly. And Hu Tao can really utilize the elemental mastery buff from the LG for the end to do big Vaporize damage, and so doing a LG for the end Amber to your Hu Tao is a very very good choice. Likewise, Ganyu is occasionally played as a cryo support for either Freeze Child Composition or Hu Tao Composition as shown on the screen right now. In this case, of course, Ganyu can proc LG for the end rather easily due to the icicle on her elemental burst. However, to quickly call it out is that this is not necessarily the thing you want to do unless you really want to super buff your Hutao, for example in speedrunning cases. This is because likewise as earlier mentioned with Fenty, that Ganyu herself will not be able to get the buff from the LG for the end due to the way her elemental burst snapshot. So while you will be losing a lot of damage on your Ganyu elemental burst, it could be worth it because once again the elemental mastery component for a character like Hu Tao can greatly be appreciated and the energy recharge subset on the support Ganyu would be greatly appreciated as you are going to be running her in a solo crowd environment when paired with Hu Tao. While Fisho can proc the passive for LG for the end, it's generally not worth simply because you lose out way too much personal damage and therefore the overall gain does not outweigh the cost of it. Although in some cases it will be worth, but in general it is not. If you're gonna put it on Fisho, you better know what you're doing is basically what I'm trying to say here. Overall, this is a very basic overview on what character you can use your LG for the end on because I imagine a lot of people will be going for the staff of Homer Banner and might get not so lucky and end up with an LG for the end and they want to know where they can properly utilize it. But most important is that I see people are currently digging up my 7 months old video about how it's not good on Venti and now I have properly labeled that video as outdated and I felt like it was very important to quickly address this before we spread more information using the old video. So I thought it was just important. Anyway, with that being said, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.